Welcome Green Wave Nation to another Ultimate Frisbee game here down at the new turf fields in Aventon. Along with me, uh, Billy Davis is Jack Pacello. How's it going, Billy? Okay. Excellent. We got a double header here today. Oh, good. It's pretty exciting. Uh, we're starting with the uh, JV team. Uh, it's Abington versus BC High. The previous varsity meeting between these two teams, BC High came home with the victory. So later on, uh, Abington will be looking to amend that. Uh, well, everybody can thank you because uh, I did not realize <laughs> there was a game today and you were able to get me on time. Little peeking today. So uh, we're going to work as best we can getting used to these rosters. There's a great, oh, not sure. No, he, he almost held on to it. Okay, I don't that know how I would have called that because they had a nice close shot. That on was it. up. You know, he I, I thought he might have bobbled it at the very end, and he, he agreed to it. So yeah. He was a, he was one that got up and you know said that he missed it. Yeah. Patel for Abington. That one's neatly knocked away by McLaughlin for BC High. So we'll be looking for some new numbers, getting comfortable with some new names in this game, Billy. Again, uh, BC right on the goal line. Oh, the nice throw there. Nice and he comes down with that. Number and 21. I'm not sure if that is was that McLaughlin, the same. or is that 24? Let me see. 24. 24. Gus Levin, with the point for BC High, gives them an early one nothing lead. So we got a pretty comfortable day here. I'd say mid 60s. Look at the goal post. Uh, a little bit of wind going from our back straight across the field. Yep, not too bad. Uh, not too. Again, we got a little overcast day, so we're going to lose the disc in the sun, in the sky. But that's all right. Yeah, but we're facing from west to east, so the sun is to our back, and we are in, in a change of pace. We are using the clock today, Billy. Um, we oh, do, okay. We do have well, just for our time cap. Yeah. Let me get my. Let me get my. Camera over here. Look at that beautiful scoreboard. Uh, because of the fact that we're playing a double header and they want to be off the fields by six, the coaches have instituted a 70 minute cap. So, boy, I gotta, I gotta zoom back. Boy, yeah, I zoom back on that, Billy. <laughs> you had the big head. I don't that? need that. I have, my head's big enough, Billy. Remember that show? Uh, uh, oh, what was it? Max Headroom. No, uh, <laughs> so, something about the earth. Oh, uh, the big rock. Oh, yeah. Oh, and, yeah, the big. And the big head the, was William was Shatner. The, yeah, and he was the leader. Yeah, third rock from the sun. Third rock from the sun, that's right. Not the big rock. Nice pull here. I'm such a hack. And that lands in the end zone. Wow, <laughs> nice pull. Norton. Sack coach picks it up for Abington. So how come he's so deep inside the end zone? Because it didn't go out of the end zone. He has to play it okay. where it was. Yep. Okay, I get you. Which is, you, you could hear the coach earlier yelling at them to pick it up and play it immediately. Brook right now on White. White gets it over to Garagna. That's Steven trying to read the coach's handwriting. To White again. Steven with it. Gets it up to Hopchi. Just outside the goal. McLaughlin line. with it. Looking right into the end zone. Just inside for the point. Levin with another score. Yeah, back to back. So that will put BC ahead. 2-0. Let's see how quickly. There you go. Just change the score. So they started the clock at what, 70 minutes? 70 minutes, yeah, they've, they've decided they're gonna go with a 70 minute hard cap, uh, just in the, you know, so we can make sure we get uh, enough time to get both games in. Yeah, it looked like we're getting neck braces on. <laughs> you know, uh, this was nice, this was nice on those cold days, kept your neck nice and warm. But yeah, but. Uh, the me, next upgrade, the next upgrade, Billy. Yeah, let me get a shot of the bench over there. No, we just could never think about how to get these these headsets to work. 
So I came up with this contraption. We make do. It, it works. Necessity, they say, is the mother of invention, Billy. Yeah. So it is a great day out here. You know, very little wind, uh, dry, much drier than it's going to be tomorrow. Yep. Uh, Abington's varsity team is coming off of a uh, victory over vacation against Hingham. Boy, he's got a good pull, huh? It's it's a it seems it's it's an inside out type of pull. I mean, he throws it a forehand, but he brings it from deep around. Uh, Deflected on that one. Sakoch can't catch up to it. <sighs> Keneally picks it up for BC High and starts to run. Sakoch is on him. Levine making another Levin making another run into the end zone. Swill pass there, but. Stephen, Stephen catches up here, all alone in the end zone. Just out of his reach. That was McNulty. David McNulty just tried to stretch right off the tips of his fingers. Sack coach bringing it to the line for Abington. Oh, nice deflected catch there by Zayden. Now, is this the A team or B team or what? This is what the is this is Abington's JV. Okay. Abington calls it JV, and BC High calls it their B team. Okay. Sack coach with a dump pass. They missed that number. Now, I didn't realize they Abington had a JV team. Sack coach again. Gets it around to Collins. Collins keeping that disc coast. Gets it back to sack coach again. Stall count getting up there on sack coach right now. Nice oh. grab by Collins on that one. Another swill pass. Collins looking deep. Almost had that on the second chance. Nice D by number 11 for BC. Oh. That was number zero for Abington, and not really, don't have him listed on my roster yet. I'll have to find out. Oh, nice pick. Keneally with a great fingertip grab there. This one's going deep. He's got plenty of time to get under it. Got Just it. outside the line. That was Hopchi with it, with a quick throw into Levin for a hat trick, making it three to nothing, BC High. Wow, they get a nice team. They're doing quite well out there, Billy. You know, we're, we're less than 10 minutes in, they're up three to nothing. Yeah, just about at the nine minute mark in yeah. the game. This is the first real contest for the uh, the JV squad. Yeah, let me get a nice close shot of our team this time. So Stapleton, Sack Coach, Sullivan, I gotta Zayden. Up my, my pan on this a little bit. Miriam's like in there, and I gotta I can't catch that last player next to her. Collins is still in there. Number 20? Number 20. Zayden again. We have two. We have Yazin Zayden and Mohammed. Okay. BC is about ready. Here's the pull. Keneally with a high floating pull, and it's going to land well out of bounds for a brick. Sack coach bringing it back to the center of the field. Sullivan going on the far left for Abington. Collins coming over to the right. BC High with a nice three-man cup. I'm sure you can hear the wind picking up a little bit on our mics. I'll tell you, it's really amplified when you actually start watching oh, it on yeah. TV. Oh, yeah, Stapleton with a nice little dump. And the return pass from Collins just a little wobbly and nobody able to get under it. Stapleton on Keneally right now. Collins sticking close to Farrell.
Merriam almost got a, a hand on that to deflect it, but the subsequent pass sails wide. Sackcoach quickly to it for Abington. Taps it in. Nobody on him just yet. Bonarigo covering him. Collins with it now for Abington. Tosses one up, but it falls in the middle. Keneally starts it yet again for BC High. <coughs> Stapleton back to watch him. Oh, hard throw in and out of Johnson's belly on that one. Sackcoach comes up quickly, sends it deep. Couple of hangers out there. BC High knocks it away. Great defense by Brandy for that one. Tell you, Jack, you're doing a good job reading off of that handwritten roster. We're trying, Billy, we're trying. I know I went over it with the coach, but I can't remember all the names. I won't say who, because everybody knows who this person is, but during the basketball season, I had somebody write me out a roster. Oh. I could have read Chinese easier than I could have read his name. Nice, handwriting. low pass that hits the dirt on that one, and Sack Coach comes up with it for Abington. Oh, Ooh. looking to dump it back. Stapleton just wasn't ready for that one. He was looking for a go around. Yeah. But again, sometimes when you're getting high in that stall count, you just have to get rid of it. Yeah, I Keneally think it was a again. Oh, nice. Nice team. defense there by Yaz. Now see the way he just took and off? Collins, Collins sends this deep, but it's a floater. Stapleton right there for the point. Comes down with it for Abington. I like the headband. Making it three to one. Yeah, it was with a great defensive play. Knocks it down. Sackcoach picks it up right away and just lofts it. Kind of hung there for a little bit, Billy. I was getting a little bit nervous. And, uh, and Stapleton came down with it. And timeout now called on the field. Okay, so they so, call timeout, but the scoreboard keeps going. Yeah, yeah we're, on, we're on a time cap, so okay. the time is going to continue to run. Uh, it's just this is the time allotted for this game. Yeah, so let's get a shot of some well, we of the got, fan base over here. We got some of the here. fans here. And behind us, like I said earlier, Billy, we're going to have to keep our uh, our eyes in the back of our head because we're going to have a lacrosse game starting. The girls. Let's see if I can get across the field. I can't see where I'm pointing. <laughs> the, so. girls, the girls have their home opener on turf today. I can't tell if they're in my screen or not, but hopefully. Hopefully we can see something over there. Look like I got them? Uh, I can't tell. You can't this. tell. No, either. listen, okay. Billy, my eyes are too old to look that far. And my neck is too short to <laughs> hang around. I don't have a turtleneck. So, Billy, with this, you know, ultimate for those who may be new to the sport is, is a, a wonderful game. Uh, you have seven players on each side. There are no officials. There usually isn't a time clock, but like I said, today we're playing that double header. We have time constraints, so in order to make sure we get both games in, we split the time in half. Uh, but there are no officials. It's a self-officiated game. And your, your first impression is you put a bunch of high school kids on a field without an official, and it's going to be a bloodbath, and it's not. It's a, a very polite game to watch. Usually when, a, when there's a, a questionable call, in many instances, it's the defensive team who turns around and says, yeah, you were in, that's the score. Yep. Um, I've never seen, I've seen discussions, I've never seen an argument. I've probably got four years under my belt. Yep. And I there were lengthy discussions. Yeah, I want to credit the coaches, though, for bringing that type of atmosphere into the game. Yeah, Because if don't you have an aggressive any, coach, you're going to have an right. aggressive team. And the coaches don't take any guff during practices. So they're not teaching them. They're teaching these, these athletes, these student athletes, how to get along, how to play the game. Yep. Uh, not how to argue to get your point across. You know, discuss it and agree to it or disagree to it. Um, but I've not seen very many uh, heated discussions over I haven't seen one points. heated discussion yet. Uh, even, even during championship games, uh, you know, we've, we've had the pleasure of being at several of those. Yes, we uh, have. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, prior to, prior to even doing the, the video, the first year that we were at States, for Massachusetts, uh, we were in the finals, and there were some lengthy discussions on that one. But again, nothing really gets overheated. They sit and they discuss it, uh, you know, with, with just tact. There's yeah, no well other we, way to describe it. 
Abington got, kind of got hosed last year because uh, they had the uh, state championship on the same day as graduation. Yeah, they were a little bummed about that, but uh, they, they were pleased with their alternative. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, headed down, they, they did actually win a state championship last year. It happened to be new uh, the Rhode Island state championship, but state championship yeah. nonetheless. We were both there. We both had a great day. Oh, I had a field day. We didn't have as much fun as the, the fans did, though, Billy. Especially the two girls that yes. ordered ordered pizza. <laughs> and ate that under the tree. Okay, there's the pull from Abington. Collins had a great pull on that one. I I'll never forget that. The, the two girls ordered takeout pizza oh, in Collins front of the whole team. <laughs> Collins with a terrific. Can he get there? Oh, oh just great defense there. Just a little too much By BC, ju Yeah, just a bit. That would have been a great bookend for him. I mean, a great defensive play there. He, he would have had it in the end zone. So he, did the coach happen to give you the BC, what their uh, record is? I did not get a chance to get that. Yeah, it was with a great interception there for Abington. Well, Levin, the goal scorer, was right there to pick up that if he had missed. Back to sack coach with it. Again, this is the uh, B team for BC. Boyle with a great good. grab on that one. Back to Sackoach. Boyle makes a cut back, but it goes deep. Oh, intercepted by Brandy. Looking for Stapleton. He had a beat on it, but BC High, Brandy from BC High got right in front of it there. White gets it across to Garango. Garango finds Moore. Moore tries to get it back, but that one drops. Sackoach with it. He's looking deep. And nobody able to catch up with that one. It sails out of bounds anyways. Yaz was right there for it, but unable to catch up. And whoever number zero is for us, and I'll find out uh, at halftime. It's either Brian Quintero or Jonathan Aiello. Garanji with it now. He has more to, to the right. White to the left. White makes a, they switch places now. Moore with it. In his own end zone. Looking for White, gets it over to him. Back to Karanga, Garagna. Floats this one out. Great oh. layout bid for that one. Levin just unable to stretch that hand out enough for it. Yeah, it looked like his toe just kind of dug into the turf and just kept him from reaching that. Sack coach with it now, gets it over to Reed. Reed with a dump to Sack coach. Sack coach going deep. It's going to float and it's going to sail out of the end zone. Abington almost there for it. A couple of defenders in there for BC High. Hopshi was right there. Yeah, good thing the fence was there. You know, and McLaughlin. It's between five and six feet. It's drop a decent there. drop off that end, Billy. <laughs> six feet drop. Yeah, that's really good English. Six foot drop. Yeah. Six foot there. I know. I know. I, I, after I said it, I caught myself. Okay, I went to a trade school, so that's all right, Billy. Been there myself. I. My, my poor history teacher. I used to always intensely say, I ain't got no. I ain't got just to, no. Just to, just to make him cringe. And the Rolling Stones did a great job. Oh, right there. McLaughlin had that and just lost control. i tell you, though, my English teacher, Bob Parkers, has a lot to do with WATD. And he really is politically involved in Marshfield. i tell you, he really taught me. The English is one thing. He taught me how to think outside the box. Yaz makes the grab. Unfortunately, he was through the end of the end zone, so that one's not going to count. That's okay. It that looked was a good, great though. toss. He caught it. It looked good. Yeah, it definitely looked good. Sackoach just put everything on that one. So we got a whole bunch of uh, white lacrosse here. fans over here now. Oh, yeah, lacrosse is going to fill in. They, they, Well, they were scheduled to kick off at four, but... I don't see their opponent yet. Oh, Ragnar nice. with it now. He sends this one deep. Levin's all alone out there. Stapleton catches up to him. Just able to deflect it away. Just got a fingertip on it. 
a lot of hang time. There's just enough of a breeze, Billy, to uh, hang that up. Norton with it now. Gets that one over to Collins. Collins looking, what Whoa. a grab by Yaz, a great leap. And another deflected grab, Reed pulls it down. And number zero is right there, just turned the wrong way for it. Almost had it. Yeah, never. He cut 11. left and the disc, the disc kind of flopped a little bit to the right. Yeah, 11 rolled on the ground, get right back up. I'm sure this is a lot softer for them to land on. Oh, this one drops right up the uh, yeah. goal line for Abington. Zach Coach sends it up, Yaz comes down. He's in for the point <laughs> and makes it three to two, Abington. BC High tried to get rid of it quickly. It dropped just outside the, the end zone. Actually, Jack, it's 3-2 BC. 3-2, did I say 3-2 Abington? Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry, it's 3-2 okay. BC High. That's okay. We'll edit this. Thanks. Thanks for catching me. We'll we'll edit this to make sure that we. But you have anyways. to remember, Billy. For the last couple of years, we've been used to saying, three two Abington, four two Abington, oh, yeah. fifteen nothing Abington. Uh, so it's going to take us a little while to get used to. Again, used to saying anything else. Yeah. We never edit our stuff. You know, oh no, we don't. No. What so. you, <laughs> what you see is what you get yeah. all the time. We we edit ourselves, Billy. I have my, my, my brain is set to a five second delay. Yeah. It has to be sometimes, because you know, I don't want to be a member of that club. Well, for me, I, I can't do that. The restart button doesn't, doesn't always work. <laughs> I tell you though, it's, it's funny when I start losing my focus and then I start stuttering and everything. Oh God. And usually what I'll do is I'll, I'll just say, you know, the fans are heckling me, keeping me from, you know, maintaining my focus, yeah. but, and they're not doing anything. And I usually point, point the camera on somebody, putting the blame on them. Why not? Why not? Who's going to know? Who's going to know? Well, they all know now. Now they do. Well, that's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, you, it happens sometimes. You get, for me, uh, I end up getting caught up in, in what's happening with the game. Uh, and I tend to uh, miss what I'm supposed to be talking about and just cheering. But, uh, and the times when I'm alone on the camera, Billy, it's even worse. I did a thing on the 300th uh, Abington birthday. I'm finishing up my documentary at Island Grove, walking across the bridge, and I turned around and I tried to use the word, the word festivities, and I couldn't get it out right. I was saying festivities, and it, I said it three times, and all I could say was, uh, <laughs> oh well. Uh, it's and, a party. And again, you know, you get what you get. I don't edit it. You know, I just laugh at myself. Yeah. Well, yeah, what you're hearing is, is exactly what's coming out. Abington getting set for the pull. Sack coach with the disc, he's ready. So Jack, you tell me, am I a cross between Barbara Walters or Kripke? Which 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 would oh, better you, describe me? Barbara. Barbara Walters and Oh, this Fudge. one's this one's a hanger that drops back. I love Barbara Walters. Barbara did a great job. I used to enjoy watching all of her interviews. She, she is as honest as Walter Cronkite. What you get from them is is the truth, no matter what. BC High with some quick movement here. Uh, Abington with a very loose cut. And Barbara Walters, she's easy on the eyes too. Going deep. Oh, nice. Nicely D. deflected away by Zayden. Yeah, if Barbara Walters asked me out for a date, I'd, I certainly would be happy to have her on my arm. I don't think my wife would like it. But. We can deal with that later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll deal with it all right. Sack coach on the goal line for Abington. Okay, back to the game. <laughs> Zayden back to sack coach. Yeah, he's looking deep, and there it goes. Oh, he slowed down too long to take a look at it. Missed the angle, it sailed over his head and landed in the turf. Yeah, we've got a fan right next to us taking pictures. White gets it across to Garagna. Oh, right sails. over his head. 
Norton almost picked it off. It just tipped off of his fingers. And his pass oh, to Patel. The wind cut little, it. A little wobbly. I think it might have been deflected. Not really sure, but it wobbled and hit the turf. Moore with it now. Gets it back for White. White back to Garagna. Garagna. Burke almost right there. McLaughlin gets it. Dumps it back to Garagna again. To White. Around to Moore. Full side to Gragna. Patel on him. And to the middle, Keneally with it now for BC High. Oh, Gragna with a wide open shot to Levin. Levin dumps it to Gragna, and he's got in the end zone. Oh, oh, unable to hold on to it. So close. Now, was that deflected? McLaughlin. No, that wasn't deflected. It just kind of bounced off of his wrist as he went to catch it. He was just inside. A butterfinger. That would be one of your butterfingers. Yeah. Stapleton there with a great grab. To Sackcoach. Sackcoach sends it up looking for Yaz, but the wind's going to take it. It's going to hang. And deflect it away. Great defense there by Levin. That's that one got high in the wind, and the wind just, just kept it. Yep. That's where the defender has a, a, a better shot at it. Of Oh, absolutely. Deflect it, because the other guy has to catch it. Right. He just has to put a fingertip on it and deflect it away. Yeah. Defender, all he has to do is tap it out away. McLaughlin back to Gragney. Gragney looking down the line. Callanan puts a hand on that and knocks it down. Sack coach going deep. He's got Yaz all alone. If it stays in, he pulls that one down. Back to back, right? Abing yeah, back to back for Yaz. Abington ties it up at three. Wow. Sackcoach with a great read. Saw Yaz isolated in the end zone and sent it up to him. <laughs> nicely done, nicely done. Yeah, I think I'll just keep the camera on him while he And then he across. comes out. Oh, we got some uh, major substitutions here. Or we have a, no, looks like we have another timeout on the field. Yeah, got a shot of Coach Scott there. Coach Scott congratulating him. Coaches calling the plays in, so they they called the timeout. They did call a timeout. Now, according to the 11th edition rules, each team is allowed two timeouts a half. So this makes at least either, either one team is out, uh, but I do believe it's one of each. Okay. Uh, and you 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 want to call a timeout, you know, to go over strategies or just give the team a break or maybe talk about something. Uh, that the coach has seen that he wants to make sure everybody's aware of. Now, is this BC lacrosse also? Uh, no, I believe, and if you'll give me just a moment to Almost has the same color. check my records, I believe it's Sharon. Okay, yeah, that looks like the colors. But I need to confirm here. Once again, Billy, you know, if you want to know what's happening, you can follow the uh, Abington Athletics on Twitter. Yeah, if uh, I was capable. If you were capable. <laughs> We all know better than that. You know, I got to get a shot of that scoreboard. I did not get a shot of that after the last score. The score, the clock is still running. And the clock will continue. Uh, where are we today? So let's get a shot of a couple of the uh, lacrosse parents over here. Girls, girls lacrosse, girls lacrosse welcomes Old Colony for their home opener on turf. Okay, I'm going to go across and get a shot of the... Uh, BC team. I want to see if I can get a close up of the BC coach. It's funny. All the plays are taller than him. Oh, yeah. I know the feeling, too. <laughs> Been there, Billy. <laughs> I just waved to the coach. I tried to get a smile out of him, but he's, he's focused on his players. So that's the A team over there warming up and loosening up. And uh, a couple of great players on that team from uh, last year who also played in the All Star game at the end of last season. I like the coach's beard. He's worked hard on that beard, Billy. Yeah, yeah. mine's just about pure white now. If mine was able to grow up, <laughs> mine would probably be pure white with you. No, you got a lot of, I can see yours is dark. Mine's not. Of course, I haven't had my beard off since uh, right after I got out of the Marine Corps. Other than one time, I the depth gauge, I forgot to stick it back on and I I hacked it across my cheek, Ooh. across down to my chin. I couldn't do anything with it, so the only thing I was left with was a mustache. 
Abington Athletic Director Peter Serino has the Gator going, checking out things and okay, yeah, getting ready for lacrosse. Field, I can't get it. No, no, he's on the backside. Setting up for the uh, the other the other scoreboard. Yeah. I mean, we have two scoreboards. Okay, here's the other scoreboard. <laughs> and that no, one's no, no, being no. set up now for lacrosse. Now, is that wired too? That's why it uh, actually, uh, Mr. Serino had to go and get the other controller. He only brought over one controller, and had to go grab the second one so we could get both games using the state-of-the-art scoreboards that we have here. And they're, they're pretty intense. I, mean, I was looking at the controller. Uh, you remember the one game that we had, it actually kept the actual time. Uh, and there's all sorts of overlays. There's overlays for football, lacrosse, soccer, everything. We've got a young lacrosse player there just scored a goal. I wish you could get around to get that, but. Okay. One more thing, getting back to the beard. So I was left with nothing but a mustache for a week. Oh. Yeah. Uh, my wife and kids all laughing at me and everything, having a chubby face. <laughs> but shaving off my mustache would be like shaving off my eyebrows. There you go. I just can't do it. And it's amazing when you see somebody that you've known for any length of time that had a beard or a mustache or a combination go without it. Oh, you yeah. have no idea who they are. Yeah, look at Tom Selleck. You know, he's, he, he shaves that off and it's like, you're who? He's got a famous mustache, you know? Sacco ready for the pull here for Abington. Okay, BC get High getting into position. Boy, we can cackle away, can't we? We had to. We, they were on a timeout. I remember when I first started doing commentating, I, I was so nervous. I tried to think of what I was going to say before saying it. It's tough. Good. Jim Dorman in the house. Sacco with a decent pull for Abington. Jim's taking some pitches. I got to. Stay focused on the field. If I can. Aragna with it for BC High. He's got Finnegan behind him. Manages to get it up to Hopshi, and Hopshi gets it right back to him. Finnegan with a go around. Johnson with a go around. Johnson has it now. Back to Garagni. Garagna, excuse me. To Finnegan. Back again, Patel for Abington doing a yeoman's share of the work out there, covering two. Nice one up into the middle. Hopshi with it to Garagner again. To Finnegan. Back to Garagna. With a nice blind pass over to Johnson. And now he's gone deep. Randy with it on Got the uh, touchline, gets it back over to Levin. Four to three, that was a great play. Yeah, even the, the, the Abington players are cheering that play. Yeah, now how many scores does this guy have now, uh, four? Levin's got four. So he's got he's all. got He's got all four goals for uh, for BC High right now. Okay, let's get a shot of the scoreboard. And But it was great to see, Billy, it was great to see the Abington players uh, cheering that play because it was very well done. Okay, I gotta get a shot of this pretty girl over here. Uh, I guess her. More fans coming on in. Yeah, I recognize a few of these. Hey guys. Abington making some substitutions. Collins and Stapleton. Okay, let's get over, yep. Let's go Patel, Sakoch, Miriam's in. Okay, I gotta get a shot of the uh, the soccer field scoreboard now. That's the first time I've lacrosse. seen that turn. That's on. the that's the lacrosse scoreboard. Okay, but it's it's, it's today. Like, it's lacrosse. Is it called? Okay, so it's not so, necessarily yeah, so this the one, soccer field. Yeah, well, this one could be set up for lacrosse, soccer, field hockey. If we had a field hockey team. Uh, this scoreboard, because this field is lined for football, has the extra added lines for downs and yards to go and whatnot. Yeah, but they still hold the... They're all multi-use fields, though. Yep, you but know, they still see. hold all the Abington football games down at the Frolio at Abington Memorial football, Field. Abington High School football plays at the Frolio at Memorial Field. That's our stadium. And they also, the baseball plays at the... 
Tom Graham Diamond. Yep. Softball plays down uh, behind the the uh, Eager Beaver. Yeah. Now, what do they call that field, the softball field? You know, I, I had the name at one point, and I forgot it. Oh, great pull. And Goes that's going to be a brick. But it's a brick very close to the end zone. If you're going to brick it, I'd rather brick it way down there. That's right. Okay, wind's starting to pick up again, and it almost seems like it's coming into our face now. Yeah. So we'll see the disc coming towards us more often than not. Stapleton oh, nice. with a great catch on his knees. Back to Collins. Collins has instantly covered by Hopshe. Dumps it to, that was a swill pass to, <laughs> to sack coach, but he came up with it. Head over heels. A oh. little too much of an angle, a little too much of a cut on that one. That drops down. And BC High is going to take over. Yeah, he's got a nice little run to go fetch that. But we're seeing a lot of fields coming out in the field today. Probably because there's two games going on. Yep. And again, yeah. double header here too. Double header here, lacrosse on the other side. So the Bruins get knocked out. That's too That bad. was a bummer. That's okay there. Uh, great overtime win on the previous game. We got robbed a few times, but they finally pulled it out. Garagna's uh, pass looking for Levin. Hits the turf, and Sakoch is gonna take over. Right around midfield. Yep, Celtics is still in it. Celtics still stand a chance. I think they're ahead in the series, aren't they? This one's deflected oh. and unable to. No, they tied it last night. Oh, did they? They did. Okay. Garagna with it now. Patel is on him. Quick up to Levine. Levin's got. He's got it. Johnson wide open. Making it five to three. BC yeah, you, high. You can see their shirts now rippling in the wind. So yeah. You can, you can feel it. You know, the, the paperwork is getting blown around a lot. You can hear it. And they just changed the scoreboard now. BC five, Aventon three. Let's get a shot of. Athletic director Peter Serino riding around that cot. <laughs> I think it would look better if there was a case of Bud in the back. <laughs> Bud was in the back earlier. Bud, yeah, Bud was in the back earlier, yeah. Bud's a good guy. Bud volunteers Bud a lot does. of times. Bud does an awful lot for the uh, the Abington uh, athletic program, for the high school athletic program here. An awful lot. Yeah. See Coach Scott talking to one of the, I'm not sure if he's a student. Uh, he's at least the assistant coach. Okay, yeah, he's a big boy. Yeah. I believe he's a graduate who has come back to help out. Okay, here's the poll, we missed it. Dragna with a great poll. And it just hits the turf and drops, doesn't even take a roll. Sakoch with it now. To Patel, that one's deflected away by Garagna. He saw that when he read that all the way. Yeah, he came and just jumped in, in front. Nowhere. And he's got two players open in the end zone. McNulty with it. Got it. And gets Good it across. Play. Nicely done. Who was that? Number Fareed. 12. Fareed. A hot for Reed with the score on that one. And update my score here makes it six to three BC high. And, and we still have 30 minutes to go. So we still have some time here to, to make it up. So now is the second game also on a? Second, guy, second game's also gonna have a uh, the time 70 minute time. Okay. Now both coaches discussed it ahead of time and that's what the agreement came to, so. I gotta get a shot of this. We've got a fan over here that's uh, got a nice little setup down here <clears> on the ground. Pretty good, huh? Why not? Oh. We got. Far enough Linda away from Blackboard the Blackboard's in the house. So Callanan back in for Abington. Callanan, Brooke Callanan is one of the three females on the team this year, Billy. 
Uh, again, this is a it's definitely a co-ed sport. Le and men and women can compete together. Okay, let me head over here, get a shot of her down the end. Let's get the nice colored sneakers on. Brooks, uh, Brooks' brother Pat was an integral part of the uh, the boys team last year. So it looks like we got trying to see how I'm learning the faces. We have okay. Let me get head back to what you. Callanan looks like Yaz next to him. I'll just pan across. Norton, Collins, Stapleton. <laughs> okay, Adlington is ready. BC, BC now High is, is ready. Acknowledging it. Boy, he's got a good yeah. huck. Look at it. And, and they have to get it and play it from there. Sullivan. Nice grab. Collins ends up with it now. Nice job by Stapleton. Stapleton and Sullivan to get rid of it there. Norton, oh. this one goes off his fingertips. Right Sack coach is right there at the goal line. And Great defense there by Sullivan. Knocks this one down. Couldn't hold on. Hop, she just had it. Sullivan with it. And this one's deflended away by Fareed. Over to Garagna. Gets this one to Moore. Back to Garagna. Why, oh, nice, oh, nice defense D. there. Is that Zayden? Looked uh, like Zayden with the defense. Number 22. 22. Muhammad Zayden. Norton starts it. Shoots this one high. There's a battle royale for it. And multiple players multiple on the players ground. there but multiple players on the ground and the disc is on the ground well, again Billy in, in a, a light enough wind like this that disc will tend to hang uh, and it becomes a hospital pass because you, you have too much time for a number of players to converge Ragna to Keneally, Keneally sends this one up. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice tip there. And it takes an Abington roll. Sullivan. Oh, oh nice a dive. Grab. Excellent grab by Zayden on that one, but he flops this one high. Stapleton's got to work for it. He got a hand on it, and it just, it doubled back on him, and he had to turn awkwardly to keep it in his sights. You could hear the whole bench over here cheering hey, Everybody on. wanted him to catch that one. We were all willing him to just hold on. He would have been just outside the end zone with it. I'll have to go but to True Value. But he also had Callanan with him. I'll go to True Value and get some stick him. There you go. Garagna now. Oh, sends this one high. The only one there for Abington was Zayden. He sends this up. Yeah. And that falls to the turf. Garagna tries again for uh, for PC High. Gets it over to Moore. Moore back to Garagna. Shovels it up to Hopshi. Hopshi to Garagna again. And he's got McNulty in the end zone. Can he catch it? Uh, not enough speed to catch up to that one, Billy. Nice pass, just a little too far ahead. Well, I'm sure you can feel the heat on your back. The sun's really starting oh, the to sun, pop. Yeah, the sun is popping again, and it's uh, it's warming up. I, you know, I had a little windbreaker with me, and I'm glad I left it at home. Well, I left mine in my truck only because I got this good-looking shirt on. I would leave it in the truck, too, to, to expose that good-looking shirt. Zayden with it now. Back to Collins. Collins looking deep. And a little off. A little wobbly pass, a little winded pass. Yaz just couldn't catch up to it. Moore looking for Keneally. Oh, almost Collins got there. almost there. 
BC able Canale to pull it to in. Garagna, and he's got everybody open in the end zone. He's going to have to hustle. Hopshi making a run. Great <laughs> bid. Excellent bid. Just outside his, uh, just beyond his outstretched fingertips. Yeah, he's going to be pulling those rubber beads out of his underwear. And Sullivan, Sullivan to start. Gets it to Stapleton. His mom's going to say, what'd you get into? Oh, Stapleton. I mean, yeah, Stapleton with a back pass looking for Collins, but Keneally picks it up to Garagna. BC High with another score. Makes it 7-3. to three. Congratulations, number six, I think it is. Hopshi, yeah. So looking at the clock. Hopshi, Hopshi still pulling. He, he's pulling beads out of everywhere, <laughs> Billy. Uh, BC seven, Aventon three. We get 24 minutes even on the clock. And he's got a nice little uh, turf rash <laughs> on that hip bone. I remember seeing those. I remember well seeing those, Billy. When my son was playing, he was always laying out, and he constantly came back right there on, right where that that hip bone pushes. They were just, it was just raw. I was expecting to see bone coming through after some games. Yeah. We get another play coming on the field for BC. Now, is there a penalty for having too many players in the field? Not so much a penalty. Uh, anything that anything positive that you did would be taken back. Yeah. And I would assume you can play with less than seven players on a field, right? If you wish. Uh, there are no rules. As in, in, in soccer, you have minimum numbers of players. Right. So, sack coach looking for Diaz. And he's got to work hard for this one. And that falls to the turf. Yeah, the BC player didn't Moore swat was, at it. Moore was right there with him, yeah. yeah. Didn't need to, but, you know, better be safe. Moore to Keneally. Callanan almost there to intercept. This one's going to go deep. Deflected once, deflected twice. Great defense there by Zayden. Again, looking deep. This one's going to curve back. Yeah. Another great bid by Yaz. As is usually the case, Billy, you, you look one way and the wind takes it another, and it's, it's almost impossible to catch up to. McLaughlin with this, Patel with a nice knockdown. Picks it up quickly. He's going deep, but that's gonna sail out of bounds. He had the right idea. He had two, he had two Abington players deep in the end zone. He had Yaz and Zayden deep in the end zone. I think Abington just scored in the lacrosse game across the field. More with it now for BC High. Gets it around to Keneally. Keneally gets it up, but it hits the turf. Takes an Abington roll. Collins letting it go, <laughs> letting it go. It picks it up. This one's deflected, but Stapleton or Sullivan? I'll tell you when he turns around. Number 19. Oh, number 19, Michael Boyle with the score for Abington. Making it seven to four. Abington's girl lacrosse just scored again. Well, they're not wasting any time, are they, Billy? Yeah. So. Have these girls even moved off their line yet? Yeah. The, uh, we'll get the scoreboard from the lacrosse We can get two team. scoreboards going. So, so you know what? We can get the updates going for the lacrosse game while we're here. Yeah. Especially since we have a, you know, the coaches on the field discussing tactics once again. I know Suzanne DeJustberg had filmed quite a few lacrosse games. Her husband Mills coached lacrosse for some some years. We need more volunteers to. We do catch uh, all I the mean, sports. Yeah, you know, we have the equipment. It's it's just getting the the people available to do it. Well, I would say once the new school opens up, you get the media class going. I, I think you'll see a lot of students get involved with it. Uh, I've done a few. Oh, I hope, I hope they do, Billy. I mean, you know, I'm sure you're willing to help them out, and I'd be more than willing to help them out. I know Justin is, is happy enough to help them out. 
and, and help them develop uh, these skills and these talents. Uh, I've done the camera myself and I know it takes a lot of practice uh, to be effective with it. Yep. Well, Abington uh, with the pull here. I do it because it's court ordered. Just like you. <laughs> I'm here because it's yeah. fun. It's in my uh, blood, Billy. Yeah, I threw you under the And bus. I had nothing else to do this afternoon. I always have something to do, so. But this is usually one of them. Keneally with it for BC High. Gets it right back to White. White, back. oh, this one sails. Collins with it. Oh, and he picked it off, too. Oh, oh. and it's, it's deflected. By number three. That's good Keneally, defense. Keneally with a great defensive move to knock that one down. White with it again. Gets it over to Keneally. Keneally with a great stretch. Back to White. Yeah, Wynn's picking up again. And Wynn took that and sailed it over everybody's head. Callanan had a chance for it. Sack coach now, he's being watched closely by Brandy. Gets this one out to Boyle. Just Catches that one on his knees. Collins with it in the end zone Got it. for the score. He followed that one all the way in. <laughs> Great job there by Abington making it. What do they call that five. celebration? A bump jump? What do they call that, you know? Uh, chest bump. It's so shoulder, funny. Shoulder to shoulder, you know, they, they do it all different ways. It's so funny, every once in a while someone will do it and they'll end up on their keys to, you know? Okay, let me get a shot of the scoreboard. We are just over 18 minutes left. Uh, BC seven, Edmonton five. Rules still apply about halftime, Billy. When the first team reaches eight, we'll have a halftime break. Game is still scheduled to be played till 15. So if we if we make 15 before that, oh, so they're having two 70-minute halves. Is that what's going on? No, two 70-minute games. Okay, so 70 okay. minutes, 70 minutes for the uh, JV and 70 minutes for varsity. So there's really no halftime. There's no. Well, there will be a halftime as usual at, at when one team reaches eight. But there's no. Okay, I, I see what you're saying. There's no. There's no halftime. Yeah. Time cap. It's just a full game cap. Yeah. I get you. You know, Billy, we were here earlier on the field, and the uh, the boys lacrosse team was practicing, and and they are equipped with gear, much like a football player. Let's see if I can get some of it going on over here. I really can't see the ball. I think it's in the goal. No, yeah. the goalie had it. Yeah, made the save. But as I was saying, I was watching the boys and. Okay, I can't see anymore. No, nope, they're gone. They're behind us. Okay, here's the pull from Abington. Look at us. Trying to catch both, Billy. There's only two of us. We can only do one game at a time. Yeah. That's okay. It was fun looking over at him. Keneally gets set up. Collins is on him. It's a wobbly pass. Johnson comes down with it, though. Gets it up to Levin. Levin looking for Farrell in the end zone. He's got it. A great throw, a great save, and great defense. Zayden just skied over everybody and knocked that one away. Not sure if it would have been caught inbounds anyways, but you can't take that chance. Collins starts once again for Abington. This one's deflected, and it's caught in the end zone by Keneally for Callahan. Yeah, you don't see makes that too often. Makes it eight to five. That makes it special. Uh, we're having a discussion on it, whether there was contact before the throw. If there is, it's going to go back to Sackhoach, and we'll start over. I hate to see him take it away from him, because that was such a good catch. So they're calling, the claim that Abington's claiming there was contact before the throw or right at the throw, in which case it would be a rethrow for Abington wherever Sackcoach was. And again, you see the two coaches over there just. They're uh, just waiting. Just let the, they're, they're going to let the, let the, the players. players handle it themselves the way they should be. 
And we're going to have a, a rethrow for Abington. Okay. The two most vocal players on it, Billy, were the two guys in midfield. Well, Yaz, and, Yaz and Levin were the ones that really understood what was happening. Too bad. Number three, that was a great catch. Oh, oh. we had a big collision in midfield there. Okay, I'm going to put the cam away from them. He's, he's getting up. Yeah, he's getting he's up. He's getting up. They seem to be fine. He's okay. A little frustrated, I think, but yeah, that both, was a, both teams are frustrated on it. Uh, that was, was a, a big, was collision. big collision. Bodies flying everywhere. And this one is going to come back. Nope, it's a turnover. Keneally sends this one high. Yeah, I would call it a turnover too because both players went for it. Yep. Edmonton did not did not catch it. So I would call it the same. So we're not at halftime yet, Billy. I thought we were. Sack coach with it again for Abington. Zayden trying to get free. That one drops. White there quickly for BC High and gets that one over to 23. number 23, Will Farrell. Now it's eight. And we're going to take a halftime break. Okay, so I would think that they would stop the clock, but the clock is still running. No, we, we, the time cap is the time cap. That's the time allotted to complete the game. Even, okay. Even with halftime, so they may take, uh, you may notice them taking a shorter break. Okay, so with that going, so we'll we take may, a little break ourselves. All right, we'll be right back then. And we are back after the halftime break. Me and Jack went around Signing Browns autographs. There, signing autographs for all yeah, the we, we gotta take fans. care of, Billy, we need to take care of our fans. Yeah. We got a, a gymnast over here on the field. They're we, got, we got everything going on. We got gymnastics on one side. We got never do that. lacrosse on one side, frisbee on the other, and gymnastics in the middle. And a couple of fools on the sideline. Cackling fools. Sack coach gets it over to Collins quickly. But we are professionals. For the most part. Oh, this one's wobbled. Almost picked up by number zero. Again, I didn't have a chance to get over and get his number, but we'll get it between, before the next game. White to Keneally. Keneally threads that one right through. Gets it up to McLaughlin. McLaughlin back to Keneally. So during the halftime break, Abington scored another lacrosse goal. Oh. Collins got tangled up there with Johnson. So the girls the lacrosse is Abington three, Sharon one. So Sharon, no, it's not Sharon, it's uh, Old Colony. Oh, Old Colony. Okay. Sack coach with it just inside the end zone. Gonna get some room there. That well, disc was off balance. It's, gonna, it's definitely taking a huge Abington roll. Did a good job of flipping that back. Yeah, he did. I didn't realize you could do that. You can you can stop it, and I think it, nice Whoa. grab by Keneally. Oh, nice feed Great pass. Great grab there too. I got to focus Brandy. on number three there. Brandy, I mean Keneally with a terrific pass curved it right into Brandy. He had two in the end zone. Brandy kept his eye on it though. Managed yeah. to pull that in, making it nine to five. Yeah, but BC that, high. That was such a nice arc and pass that, that he hit his target. He did. He did. And that's a skill to be able to, to shoot it wide and, and have it come around and drop into the player that you want to catch it. Uh, normally, everyone else is watching where the disc goes. And as we've seen a number of times, as you're looking over your shoulder to find the disc, the wind has taken it and it's gone to the other side. But if you know when it's gone up, it's going to go in a certain direction. You can be there ahead of time. So BC 9. <laughs> Abington five, just under the eight minute mark now. Keneally now coming off for BC High. Yeah, let me get a shot of him. He, uh, that was such a good play. 
He's a great, great handler. I mean, he's got some terrific moves. Uh, he, he's on the, he's of smaller stature, but don't take that away from you. That's right. Your son, Mike, was not the tallest one on, on the team, but he, uh, it, it smoked everybody. So don't, you know, don't disregard somebody just because of their, their height or anything, because he, he's been making some great plays out there. He's been flopping that disc around people. Why with the pull? Takes a BC high roll with an Abington finish. Sackoch comes up with it. He's got Collins streaking all alone. Oh, nice If he look. can catch up to it. Oh, just just, un, just unable to. I mean, it was a great throw. Kind of tailed away from him at the end. Now, if we could have gotten a little straighter, uh, he may have had a chance at it. But I keep on hearing the whistle. I'm saying, who has the whistle <laughs> out? In the, the whistles are the behind field. us, Billy. Remember, no officials yeah. in Frisbee. I know. Moore with it. Gets it back to Garagna again. He's got openings deep. To Farrell. Farrell back to Garagna. He's looking for White, making a cut. He's got Moore dropping back. Dumps it over to Garagna. Garagna looking deep. He's got Johnson all alone. Oh, nice. A defense. Nice defense. Wow. That's it. That's the play of the game right there. Yep. Uh, Garagna winds up catching the disc after a deflection by Abington. From the ground, he makes the pass into the end zone to Brandy. Yeah. So I'm going to yeah, keep that was That was great. Camera on number seven. What a play. That was about the best play that I've was, seen that's, this, I have, this yeah. year. I haven't seen a play like that in a long, long time. A Good long, long time. He catches it on the, you know, dives for it. The pass is deflected. Looks like it's going to fall innocently to the ground. Uh, he leans over, catches it, laying down on his back, and just makes a toss from the ground to Brandy in the end zone for the score, making it 10 to 5, yep. BC high. That was that was just a great play all around. I want to see that one on the highlight reel, Billy. That's definitely highlight reel material. Oh yeah. Can you wear out a YouTube video? Because I'm sure this kid's going to be playing it back and forth and back and forth. I don't even from, know what YouTube is, so I couldn't on. tell you that. <laughs> well, then he'll wear a hole in his DVD. Abington ready for the pull. Grogna set up for it. Yep, BC's got his hand up, waiting to go. Everybody's ready. Everyone's all set. Go for it. Boy, yes, such he, a good huck. You know, and that lands a brick outside. That coach starting for Abington. More right on him. Patel with it. Just Flips it around behind him to, to Sackoach again. Just past the four minute mark. Sackoach looking for Sullivan and that one gets knocked away. Finnegan looking in the end zone, tapped. He had Johnson looking for it. Johnson got a hand on it, but it falls to the turf. Abington taking over at the end zone with just about three minutes left to go. Three, 315 to be exact. Girls lacrosse up six to one for Abington. Sack coach going deep. This one's gonna curve back though. Curves back and lands out of bounds. Lands at the feet of the subs. White to Garagna, back to White. White finds Finnegan, back to White. He's got a couple of people in the end zone. We got Brandy, ooh. This one went in hard to Farid, right off of his chest. Another. 
high curving disc that gets deflected, drops to the ground. White's with it again to Garagna. Finds more to Garagna. Garagna's got a couple of people in the end zone, but they're tightly covered. White gets up with it, sends this one high. Finnegan unable to get the air needed to pull that one in. Under two minutes to go. BC High with a commanding 10 to five lead in this one, Billy. But it's been a good game all around. Abington's JV team has, uh, has done some pretty good things out there. And see, there's a, he's got a, a bud back in the, uh, the car. Sakoch to Boyle in the middle. Back to Sakoch. He's got Yaz and Zayden looking to go deep. Great defense by Brandy on that one. And just and he comes there. up with a great set of bookends. Knocks it down, picks it back up, we are and makes it 11 now. to five. Yeah, and clock is BC winding high. down. Clock winding down, not sure if we're gonna get this last pull off, but we're sure gonna try. If they can get the, they have to get the, the pull off before the time. If they can get the pull off before the time, they'll play the final point. Under 30 seconds left. Yep. So everyone's got to hurry if they want to get this last point in. Yeah, BC, BC High is ready. Abington is ready. And there we go. Careful, Billy, this one's coming our way. This one's gonna curve all the way back and just at the 25 yard line. That's about the closest brick I ever seen. <laughs> so. Yep, they're gonna, yep, we're finishing the point. Okay. Some of the players thought that the, the horn meant we were done, but now we're gonna finish the point up. White comes up with it for BC High. Back to Keneally. Oh, great defense by Zayden, but he came down holding his calf. Oh, he had some, he had some great air on it, but uh, he came down and immediately grabbed his calf muscle. Yeah, well. Okay, he's, he's and he's he's coming off. He's limping a little bit. Zero going in. Trainer on her way o over. Yeah, Lauren Eck, thank you for all that you do. Here we got Lauren over here. Disc back into play. Collins okay. for Abington. Sullivan trying to get open. Tosses this one, but hits the pay, hits the the turf again. White picks it up for BC High. Keneally back in the game. Tosses it back to him and he can't handle it. Collins gets it quickly. Sends this one high yeah. over everybody's head. It's gonna sail out of the end zone. Yeah. That's where, you know, the senior players will take be a little, little off patient. of it. You, know, you, you need to get the you need to get the disc away quickly because you, you're gonna be covered but you need to take a little bit off of it. You can't be, it, it's like looking at that open net in soccer. Yes, yeah. it's a big net, but you can get a little too excited and, and still miss. I've seen that a lot. Okay, so I just lost my- Callanan with a great defensive screen. play there. Collins with it now. Flips this one around. Oh, oh we had a double on that one. Callanan almost wound up with the, uh, the bookends on it. And Yaz behind her to uh, almost grab the deflection. 
So now it's going to be a little harder for me to watch this. I'm looking. The grandpa screen died out. But, no, don't even bother. I'll just. I'll use Keneally the to screen. White. White back to Keneally. Keneally looking for more. He grabs him. Moore sends this one up to Finnegan. Finnegan with a deflected pass. And this one definitely takes a BC a roll. Yo, oh, it's, it's still taking a BC roll. Sullivan to pick it up for Abington. Looking for Collins. Finds number zero. Turn in over. and out of his hands. White sends this one deep. For Reed right there, pulls it in. Fingertip grab for yeah. the final point of That's the game. It, yeah. So let me just follow them. So in they had BC was... high at 11. I had them at 12, Billy. Did I miss a point? Did I add a point? I don't know. No, they won. They won. So congratulations, BC. We'll get a shot of the scoreboard before they have a chance to take it off. There we go. It's awful hard for me to see with the sun glaring on this little screen here. And the varsity right. team has already taken the field, Billy. They're not wasting any time. Okay, so let's change out the disc. Uh, we'll take a quick break and we'll throw in a new one. And we'll be so. right back with varsity action in just a minute. 